Hey everyone, welcome to Top Down Tech, where we take a look at tech from the top to the bottom. Today, we're going to be talking about the ASUS ROG Strix SCAR 17. And this is one heck of a beast. So in this video, I'm just going to be quickly showing you an unboxing. And I'm going to share my initial impressions after using it for a few weeks now. Because that man is trouble, you best beware. And load it down, I know I might be headed for teardrops. Now that you got started, just... All right, so here's a quick unboxing so you guys would know what's included in the package. Now, the Philippine version of this has a really huge box, but that's because they include a lot of things inside, and you'll see what I'm talking about. All of these inclusions will be region dependent. So if you are in the United States or in other parts of the world, you might not get the same packaging as we got here in the Philippines. So now that we have the unboxing out of the way, let's go check out the specs on this. This is bonkers because this has an RTX 3080. It has an AMD Ryzen 5900HX. It has 32 gigabytes of RAM and you can upgrade this up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. And then you also have a 300 Hertz refresh rate on this and a ton of RGB lighting. I'm not kidding you guys. This is decked out to the balls with RGB lights from the logo, the keyboard, down to its bottom perimeter surrounding area. You can go absolutely crazy on the RGB lighting on this. And we all know that RGB lighting gives us plus 10 on all of our gaming skills. So what's not to love there? But anyway, all of those specs come at a huge asking price. So you're gonna be spending about 3,000 US dollars on this one with the specs that I mentioned. But with all of its inclusions, I think you get about 32,000 worth of value from what I showed you in the unboxing. But still, that's a lot of dough to spend on a laptop. So you better be really serious if you are considering something like this. Now, before I give you my initial impressions on this laptop, let me just give you a quick tour of what you can expect from its design and its I.O. ports. Now, there are three things that I want to highlight when it comes to the design and what's kind of different from other laptops that I've tried before. So first off is the mechanical keyboard included in this. It's really nice that it's a mechanical keyboard. This is an optical mechanical switch, which feels like brown cherry switches. So if you are a mechanical keyboard user, this is gonna feel like home to you. Also, I love that the RGB lights on this can be individually controlled. Again, plus 10 on all of your gaming skills. And now that we're talking about the keyboard, I have to mention that this has a translucent keyboard design. So you can see here that we have a very transparent design. This kind of reminds me of a Game Boy. I think that was a Game Boy color design where it had a very transparent case but it's a really nice touch because it stands out and it's quite different from your typical laptop experience in terms of design 
Lastly, this is a very minor thing, but you can actually customize its looks. You do have this very small portion on the laptop, which is removable. So this is what they call the customizable armor cap. So you can see it's magnetic and you can just simply attach it like so. And what's really nice is you can even customize this to your desired design. So if you have a 3D printer at your home, you can just simply print your armor caps. Now another design touch that I love about this SCAR 17 is that this has tons of rubber feet. That means if you put this on glass or you put this on a slippery surface, it's highly unlikely that it will slip off. All of my friends say, girl, you better take care. Cause that man is trouble. You now you might be wondering what this little design gap here is. That is actually a place where you can insert this tiny keystone. So this is the keystone mechanism that they use for the SCAR 17. So this supposedly carries over your data, Armory Crate data, and then once you insert this to other laptops with the same keystone mechanism, this will automatically switch to the profile that you chose or you saved here. And it's really nice that this can double as a key holder as well. So keystone plus key holder, makes sense. Next up, I wanna tell you all of the things that I don't like about the SCAR 17 so far. First off is its touchpad. I think it already bottomed out on me, which is sad for something that costs $3,000. This really isn't a brand new laptop. This was already reviewed by someone else. I'm not sure how crazy the previous reviewer was when he was using this, but still this should not bottom out so easily. Next up is the speakers. So the speakers are decent. They're not gonna be the loudest speakers you can hear on a laptop, but I was expecting a lot more power from its speakers because of how big it is as compared to regular laptops. But overall, I'm not really complaining too much on that because I don't really use the speakers anyway. I am usually plugged to a headphone. Speaking of the headphone, this only has a combo jack, so we don't get to split the microphone and the headphones. But what about you guys? Do you like combo jacks or do you like your microphone and headphone jack to be separated? All right, next up, we have two more complaints. So the first one is that you can't really fully tilt this. So if you like tilting your laptop a lot, then you might be a little bit disappointed in this because this has a very limited tilt capability in terms of its monitor. Second is related to its monitor again, but this is a more of a hinge problem. I'm not sure if it's a problem at all, but there seems to be some mechanism on this that slowly closes the lid on its own. Now, don't get me wrong. Those are just my minor complaints about this laptop. And if it seems a little bit too nitpicky, well, that's because this is a $3,000 laptop. So I really have to tell you all of the minor details just so you guys would have an idea because it's no joke to spend $3,000 on a laptop. So you might as well hear everything that I have to say on that. So hopefully in part two, I'll be able to tell or I'll be able to determine all of the pitfalls of this laptop if it has any. And now let's go ahead and check out some of my gameplay. All of the games that I tested here were all running on the highest graphical preset. The only game that truly surprised me here was Cyberpunk 2077. I only manage about 60 frames per second here. I do know that Cyberpunk isn't really the best optimized game out there, but 
I don't know, 60 frames per second seems a little too low for something that has a 3080, even on a laptop, even though this is a Max Q variant. But that's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, of course. Now, before we end this video, let me just quickly add that I absolutely love the display on this Car 17. The 300 Hertz display is super good. It looks buttery smooth. And I really love the color reproduction in this. I think it's pretty accurate. It has really good contrast, even though this is an IPS-like display. And of course, for customizability, you do have the Armory Crate here. You can customize this to your heart's content in terms of performance, the fan speed, the color of your display. So really nice customizability here. As much as I want to give you everything in just one video, I really haven't done all of the testing yet on this. So I'm not too confident yet with the data that I have as of now. So let me just keep on testing this car 17 and I'll be sure to be back with a full video with the full performance, with the full thermals. Anyway, if this video already helped you in deciding to get your own SCAR 17, all of the links will be in the description box. And if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell button so you can watch more videos like this in the future. That's it for today, guys. Keep safe and have a great day. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No, no.